These videos will show you how cells communicate with each other in the breast in real time. Using time-lapsed images, you can see cellular processes that go awry in breast cancers. In the first video, we will show you how normal cells in the breast behave. The first video shows a normal breast duct in the middle of the field. Blood vessels and inflammatory cells which move around in the blood vessels and the fat of the breast. The normal duct and its beginning branches are in blue. On top of the duct is a dark strip, that is a blood vessel. The dark areas around the duct are fat cells that make up much of the breast tissue. The green cells that are around the duct and around the blood vessels are inflammatory cells that don't move. There are more of these cells of different sizes in the fat, and some of them move around, ruffling as they go. You can also see round inflammatory cells that are rolling by in the bloodstream. So this shows how dynamic some of the inflammatory cells are, even in normal breast tissue. Even in the normal breast, not everything is still. The next video shows you how tumor cells behave in the breast. You can see the much increased area of blue, which is the breast cancer. The blood vessels are marked with a yellow dye. You can see that there are many blood vessels, and they are rather large and tortuous, a characteristic of blood vessels recruited to tumors in a process called angiogenesis, which is new blood vessel growth. You can see the blue tumor cells and the green and red inflammatory cells interacting with the tumor and blood vessels. Note how some cells turn yellow as the dye leaks from the leaky tumor blood vessels. The cells that take up the dye are tumor-associated inflammatory cells. This video shows how the tumor cells interact with blood vessels and inflammatory cells in the breast. It is also evident that there are many more inflammatory cells. Some are inside the tumor, but most are at the tumor margin, where some of them move rapidly. What is striking is how active the inflammatory response is, while the tumor cells seem to sit doing little except growing slowly. Although normal breast development and cancer are similar, there are a few important differences. Both involve invasion, cell growth, resistance to cell death, and the formation of new blood vessels. As you witnessed in the videos, however, with cancer, the processes are more disrupted and frenetic.